Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. We're here in Hyrule Castle Town, and thankfully it's not destroyed this time, which is awesome. Um, so as you can see by my uh, C down there, I've actually went back and picked up uh, a bug back at Hyrule Castle there. Um, it's, you just pick up one of the rocks, I mean, it's pretty easy to get. Because um, we're actually going to need that relatively soon. We actually have another patch that we're going to be dealing with. Um, but for now, we're going to head back to Zora's River, and a few of you may be able to guess if you've been paying attention. Um, we have the Musical Frogs, remember those? And we've also picked up our final, sort of like, first line of songs with the Song of Storms. So now that we've gotten that, we can uh, actually kind of finish off their thing there. So, that's definitely good. Let's head back on over there. I don't know, it's kind of nice just running around as a kid again. Uh, there's something about it. Uh, you, you think after all that time, you know, you get to become an adult, you get all these new fancy toys available to you. It's like, ooh, I want to be that all the time, but, oh, come on, what are you doing? But, I don't know, for some reason, I just like running around as a kid. I, I, I guess because the world isn't, like, completely destroyed, you know, sort of thing. I, I kind of feel like it's my fault, so I, I like having the escape from it, but... <laughs> Whatever, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So we're here at Zora's River. Um, I guess we can pick up some of this stuff if we want. I uh, don't really want to. Refill my magic, though, so that's nice. And there's the crazy magic bean guy who we don't need anything from. So let's head back on over. And if you don't remember, the musical frogs are um, right around here, just upstream a little bit. So let's jump across here. And back onto land, and almost get hit by the blue tech tight. Oh, well, no, we didn't that time. Okay, well, that's nice. Okay, so let's jump on over onto the log, and... Yep, frogs are looking up at me, I know. Uh, so let's get our ocarina back out, and play them some songs. Or a song, I guess. So we play in the Song of Storms, and even though there's no frog that needs to be grown bigger, uh, they're still going to talk to me here. Wow, that melody is so cool, Ribbit. Singing in the rain. Oh, what a feeling, Ribbit. <laughs> I think you messed up the words a little bit, but that's fine. Please take this as a token of our froggish gratitude, Ribbit. All right, see ya, Ribbit. And once we do that, they're going to give us a piece of heart. So that's good. Uh, we collected two pieces. So now let's go ahead and pull out the ocarina again. And these guys will talk to us. Look at us. We're all huge frogs. We are the world famous, fabulous five froggish tenors, Ribbit. Make us jump so we can eat the bugs flying above us, Ribbit. Okay, then ready, set, go. Yep, so we have kind of a mini game here that's actually quite difficult um, if you don't really know, like, what the things are. Um, basically, a good thing to keep in mind here is you will never use C up. And the pattern is always the same, so if you want to just memorize it, that's probably the best way to go. I do have it sort of written out here for me, so let's do it. Um, it's A, left, right, down, left, right, down, A, down, A, down, right, left, A. You would kind of just have to figure out what each one of the frogs sort of uh, correspond to as far as notes are concerned uh, in order to hit the butterfly above them, but you got to be really fast, so it's probably easiest to just memorize it. But um, All right, so they're going to give us another token of their froggish gratitude, and we get another piece of heart from them, so oh, that's nice. I don't know why they didn't just give me both to begin with, but yeah, that's fine, whatever. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're done here um, around the Lake Hylia area. So as you can see, we're going to be warping back to Death Mountain Crater. This time, we don't have the Goron Tunic, so there will be a time limit again. Uh, but since we have a few more hearts, it's actually going to be a little bit longer. Um, I think it is actually based on, like, the number of hearts you have whenever you go in. So, yeah, yeah, we can't stay in here long. That's okay, because we won't be in here for long. Uh, as you can see, we got a minute 36, so that's plenty of time to do what we need to do. Uh, so let's get the bugs out. We're actually going to need them, because there's a patch right here. I also probably want to go ahead and get out the beans so I don't forget. Um, so let's go ahead and put the bugs in the patch here. We haven't done this one yet because we were kind of limited in where we explored uh, Death Mountain Crater before, so... Let's just let them do their thing. Alright, dude, come on. I don't have all day. There we go. Kill it and take its token. And that should be number 58. 57. Oh, that's not good. All right, well, now I'll figure all that out off, off screen. Oh, the first time that's happened, huh? Wow, what do you know? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, plant the bean and take care of that. Now, there's also something else we can do. If we play the Song of Storms while standing next to this thing, uh, something kind of cool is going to happen. 
At least it should. It, it normally does. I don't know why it didn't this time, but it did when I was playing it last time. Um, Alright, well, anyway, let's get out of... Uh, let's not get out the bottles yet, because this thing hasn't worked out. I don't know why this isn't working. Let's try it again. Wow. Okay, that's kind of weird. Because um, <laughs> when I was playing it in practice, I kind of remember doing that as a kid. Um, if you play the Song of Storms next to where you kind of, like, plant the bean... Um, it'll cause it to sort of grow up, and I'm gonna try it one more time, because I swear, it, it, I know it worked, I mean, I remember seeing it work, but... Oh well, I guess it just doesn't want to, but, uh, yeah, whenever I played the Song of Storms next to this thing, it would kind of grow up, and then three fairies popped out, which I was able to fill my empty bottles with, so... Yeah, I really don't know exactly why that didn't work this time, but, oh well, I guess we'll just, um, sort of forget about it for the time being. And uh, we're going to head back to the Temple of Time now, and I'm going to become an adult again. Obviously, since we planted the bean as a kid, it's going to sprout up into a leaf as an adult. So, uh, we're going to definitely take advantage of that. And then after that, pretty much all that's left is to start the Fire Temple. So, that's definitely good. Alright, so let's head on back there and uh, take our path into adulthood again. Awesome. I love that animation. That's always so cool. But <laughs> Anyway, now that we're here, we can pretty much just warp straight to uh, the Death Mountain Crater, which is good. Doesn't it make this so much quicker to have all these warp songs, you know? <laughs> Before, we had to walk back and forth, and I guess it doesn't make it too much quicker for you, because I, you know, generally cut out trips. But, you know, well, it makes it quicker for me, so at least I notice it. But... Okay, so we are uh, back here in Death Mountain Crater. We've got a uh, leaf we can take here, of course. So let's take it up, and it's going to sort of take us around here. And as you can see, there's a piece of heart on this little mountain, and it makes the screen completely black when you get it, which is great. And uh, we've now completed another heart container, so our maximum life energy is increased to 13. All right, and uh, now we want to head back down. As you can see, the leaf is still kind of flying around. We actually want to get back on it. No, I don't think I take damage from that. And uh, sort of actually ride it around a little bit more this time. So let's just keep going. It's going to circle around and take us over here to this side. And uh, now we can actually climb down. This is, I believe... Uh, yeah, see, right up there is where we entered if we would have climbed Death Mountain itself. So uh, that's good. If we head on over the side... We can see that this wall is actually climbable. So let's get down here. There's a little alcove, and if you do this right, you can just drop down like that and uh, grab it. And there's yet another piece of heart in here, so we picked up four of them, I think, um, in this episode. So, well, that's good. But, um, all right, so let's head on back. And I also remember um, exactly which Skulltula I missed. I kind of uh, went a little quickly in Goron Village, and there's actually one, or Goron City, or whatever it's called. And there's actually one in there. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it might be quicker to just warp back. Um, in fact, yeah, actually, I'm going to do that. Because it, it, Death Mountain Crater is kind of divided into two little sections, and using the magic beam brought me from one to the other, so the quickest way to get back is probably just to warp. Okay, so, hey, we're back here again. Awesome. I wonder if that would reset the timer, like, if you were a kid. Uh, that'd be kind of funny if it would, but... Um, all right, so we actually need to head back over here. There's a nice, quick entrance back into Garan City, which is good. Um, and we can hookshot onto this and sort of use that as a ladder, or you can just grab onto the edge. That works, too. Uh, but this will bring us back out into Goron City and where I can pick up the Skulltula that I missed. So let's do it. Alright, yeah, we're going to have to climb up uh, quite a bit because it's up on the uh, the pedestal. Remember where they put the Goron's Ruby, or at least where it's supposed to go. I don't think we've ever actually seen it there. But um, it's way up there. It's kind of suspended by ropes in the ceiling. Uh, of course, you'll know once we get to it. But uh, So let's go up and see if we can do that. Okay, so let's see. I uh, probably want to just come at it from the front here. That seems. I think this is the easiest rope to walk on, probably, so... Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> yep, so if you fall off, you're obviously gonna have to walk all the way back up, like I'm gonna have to do now, so that's great fun. Alright, try number two, and we made it this time. 
So you can definitely hear and somewhat see the Sculptula kind of, uh... Yep, there it is. Uh, you can see it kind of scratching around back there, so we're going to uh, have to take it out. But the collecting it is going to be the hard part, because we can't jump over this, as you can see. So uh, we're going to have to sort of come out on this rope, or just fall off. That's also fun. All right, uh, try number two again. Uh, we're going to have to come out onto this rope and sort of get far enough along that we can grab the token with our hook shot. And there we go. That's going to make number 58 like it should be. All right. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go back to the crater once again because we're done with pretty much all the side stuff that I want to do and we are all ready to start the Forest Temple. So that's definitely uh, going to be fun. Uh, did, did I say Forest Temple? I, I think I said Forest Temple. The Fire Temple, rather. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, I believe I'm just going to sort of walk up to the entrance and then we'll leave actually doing it for the next part because obviously it's going to take me a while. So, um, it, I don't know if it'll take longer than the Force Temple or not. I honestly have no idea. It does kind of take a while because there's kind of a lot of backtracking you have to do. Um, structurally speaking, it's probably smaller than the Force Temple, but um, it definitely will take an equal amount of time. More or less, I have no idea, but... Yep, there it is. That's actually, that does kind of look like the inside of the Fire Temple, but um, that's the entrance right there. So I'm going to end the video here. Next time we are going to head on in and uh, see if we can't wake up the Fire Sage and save Goron Village, all its people, and Death Mountain in general. So, uh, yeah, like wipe off the sweat there. I bet it's hot in here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do next time. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.